So you got this sister that's questioning the men about why they don't really like modern women. Let's review it. This is a question for men. What is it about the modern woman that rubs you the wrong way? Um, and please refrain from giving me. Uh, uh, see, 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 see right there. That's an issue. If you're asking someone to give you an answer, you cannot refrain them from giving you an answer. So in your mind, you thinking that's where they're going to go, which is legitimate, but that's where they're going to go. So since you don't have an answer for it, you want to go it on and cut off a potential way that you can't get yourself out of understand one thing that men don't like, or just anybody in general, is that you ask us a question, but you really don't want to know the answer because you like being lied to. And that's how a lot of you got pregnant. That's how a lot of you got dogged out because you want to hear uh, uh, what a lie from a man instead of hearing the doggone truth. But let's continue. An answer that applied to how life was 50,000 years ago. Like, But the life today, ma'am, is wrong. Let's look at the results. You have all your modern, whatever you want to have. You can dress the way you want. You can speak the way you want. You can work careers the way you want to work them. You want, you can do whatever you want, but let's look at the results. Our children are worse off than they ever been before. Society has been, is worse off than they ever been before. Children are targeted literally because you have a group of people in this country that wants to even get pedos legalized and they pushing that mess as of now, right? You have a, a, a 80 plus percent single parenting rate in our community, something that wasn't there before 50 years ago, etc. right? Black women in particular was married at the age of 19 at that time period Two black men, not men of other groups, to black men. So how is it that your modern ways is so much better than that time period when none of the numbers match up at all about our children or even our progress as a people? But let's continue. Hey, in 2023, what about the modern woman rubs you the wrong way? Because in my head, you need the modern woman in order to survive. No, 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 no. Men do not need the modern woman. Men need a traditional woman. You understand? A traditional woman. A traditional woman knows how to uplift her family. She's not selfish. She's not narcissistic. It, it gives her joy to be a mother and a wife. A lot of modern women, they don't really want to be wives. They don't want to be mothers either. And if they got a husband, this new trend with these modern wives they have today, they're divorcing their husbands in their forties. You see this big trend of them divorcing their husbands in their forties. Then they're delusional to say, Oh, well, hope love find me again. Tamara, I hope love find me again. There's a T or Tamara, whatever, which one it slipped my mind. If I said the wrong one, sorry, but you know what I'm talking about. It slipped. <laughs> You leave your husband for reasons outside of what the scriptures teach. And then you wonder why, why love always eludes you. And those men actually move on and have better lives because you broke up your family because you're not happy. See back in the time period, you're talking about that you're demonizing those sisters didn't just leave their families because they wasn't happy. They figured that stuff out because sometimes you may not be happy. Sometimes you may be happy and Lit, being led by emotion well, is a very dangerous thing. That's why I'm glad men, we see things black and white. We really don't see things in a gray area, but let's continue. That's your partner through these economic trials. That's your partner through the apocalypse. That's your partner when it comes to raising these kids, you need more of an equal versus someone that's submissive. No, 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 no. You are an equal. You, you hundred percent, right? You are an equal but you're not equal in the guise of a man in a traditional family. Let me give you an example. When economic times are happening, 
who do society look at to fix the problem in the household? Both of them are the man. It is the man. If the children are wayward and they got a man in the house, they're going to say that man not controlling his household. He letting those kids run amok. If, if, if something happened to the man's job, they say he needs to find a job. They don't say, they don't tell his wife and say she needs to find a job and help pay them bills. She need to do this. She needs to do that. It's all put on the man. This modern society has lied and said that, well, you just equal as the man. No, you no, 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 no. In the society it's never going to be that way. In the area of how people look at things. Yes. We equal as human beings. Yes, we are. But when it comes to that, Society would never look at it. Listen, I was just talking to my father just the other night and I was telling my father, you know, some of the things that, that I say, of course I was raised by him. I was raised by my grandfathers. And one thing he said, he said, I have never ever in my life, let a woman pay my bills. He said, I, I, I've never allowed my wife to put a down payment down to pay a light bill to do whatever else. Cause that's what men supposed to do. Men supposed to take care of their household. I say that's the same thing I say. I say, but on the internet, dad, they, they boy, some of these guys will demonize me because how dare I say that a man's supposed to take care of his business. See, when I'm talking this way, that's where I'm coming from. I'm not coming from, see these, these women who are modern, they modern a lot of times too, because, because men got to accept some of this. They're modern because a lot of you have not stepped up as men and be men and know how to take care of your whole household. You want to have this woman go out and work and pay 50% of the bills, but you want to be hundred percent of the man. You want her to pay 50% of the bills and submit to you. But yeah, she's actually doing your job by traditional standards. So if you're going to tell her she needs to be a traditional woman, you must be a traditional man. And that's the problem. The modern woman problem. Yes. Society has created that problem too. Oh yes, it has. But as men, when you are sitting here and, 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 expecting them to go pay half the bills. Why should she submit to you? I matter of fact, I would even tell them not to submit to you. Submit for what you haven't shown you a man. Let's continue. What is wrong with being in a relationship with a modern woman? And what is wrong with you being a modern man with a modern woman? Because y'all don't really want a modern Man, a modern man says 50, 50, you go pay half the bills. I go pay half the bills. Even you modern women want a traditional man because how many times have they said, well, he needs to, I would like him to make six figures. Some of them say, I like him to make a quarter of a million dollars a year, right? Why would they say they want you to make that much? Because they want to be provided for. They don't want to have to be paying half of the bills, half of the mortgage or the rent, half of the car note, half of the insurance, half of the food, half of anything else that you got going on. Women don't want to do that. They want to say, go to, if they go to work, this is what women want. They want to go to the job and say, I'm here because I want to be, I don't have to be. I quit this job today. Women love being in that position. And other women even envy them when they're in that position because they say, my man pay all the bills. I don't pay nothing. Or let's say if you pay all the bills, you tell her, look, if you want all kind of extras, if, if you want to go shopping or whatever, you go to work to do that. But I pay all the bills. Some women even cool with that deal. Say, look, I work to just go do my shopping. That's the only thing I work for. And I can quit. And if that same man that used to paying everything, he wouldn't get to the point that he wouldn't now even need you to go work. You just work because you just want to get out of the house or create a business or do something else. I'm a firm believer of even investing into your woman. Like if she wants to get, um, open up a business, invest into her because Hey, if, if you, if she see, of course, she's not a selfish woman, of course, that you are investing into her and she see that, you know, uh, uh, you believe in her. She definitely going to put back into the household and, and treat you the way you should be treated as a man. But traditional men do not like the modern woman because she's too out of line. She's too out of pocket. She's dressing like a Jezebel Sierra. That's why when a man looks at his wife, she is a reflection of him period. She's a reflection of his success and she's a reflection of his failure, his woman. 
So of course, so no, no man will no, no modern woman for what? It don't work. But let me know what y'all think about you know what sis had to say here. But um, it, it it just reality on both sides of the coin to me. You need to be a traditional man, and you need to have traditional women. 